The Biden administration expressed cautious hope that peace may be enduring following the ceasefire declared by the Ethiopian government in Tigray. But there was a warning about human rights abuses and a commitment that the U.S. would act if it was judged that efforts toward a political settlement were being hampered. We will not stand by in the face of horrors in Tigray. Though Robert Godek did not elaborate. Throughout the congressional hearing, Ethiopia's position as a key U.S. ally in the region was emphasized, even as witnesses and members of Congress outlined the ABA government's responsibility for human rights abuses and malnutrition. If I leave you with one thing today, it is that USAID believes famine is likely already occurring in Ethiopia. The chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee was emphatic. What we are seeing unfold into gray bears the hallmarks of crimes against humanity and quite possibly a genocide. But Ethiopia is seen as key to the U.S.'s strategic objectives in Africa, and Meeks tempered his criticism of the Ethiopian prime minister. Prospects for a durable peace in Ethiopia and its role as a responsible regional leader are now in question, as is Prime Minister Abiy's legacy. On the ground, Tigrayan forces, the TPLF, said they had the regional capital, Makele, fully under their control. And there were celebrations in the town of Shire amid reports that Eritrean troops had left. The TPLF also vowed to push south and east to consolidate its position. Notably, it has not announced a ceasefire. The U.S. is treading carefully. Washington has been trying to preserve all options with respect to its engagement with, with Ethiopia. Uh, they've been trying to use... Uh, diplomatic persuasion up to this point to get the Ethiopian government to relent in its sort of pursuit of total victory in Tigray. Um, they have not been successful in, in that conversation, but they have withheld some of the most biting sanctions that the United States has, sanctions related to the human rights abuses that have gone on uh, at the hands of Ethiopian government troops and their allies in the region. It's clear that the Biden administration wants to keep the Ethiopian government close, especially as China extends its reach across Africa. But there are reports that some members of Congress will be keeping a close eye on Prime Minister Abiy's actions, especially as they weigh the U.S.'s foreign aid budget. Shia Britansi, Al Jazeera, Capitol Hill.